Hey everyone, Caffeine Man here, and I'm excited to be going over a semi-new energy drink with you today. That drink is the Rockstar Juiced. It's still not anywhere near me, and I guess the Rockstar rep just doesn't like southeastern Massachusetts. So I actually got these from a subscriber of mine, coming right up. Hello again everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. And if you want to stay informed on all things caffeine related, feel free to hit the subscribe button. I post new videos every Tuesday night. And some of you may have noticed that I've actually slowed down saying that. Before I used to just speed right through it, because I just assumed everyone knew if they liked the content, they would subscribe. But I think I'm going too fast, so I shouldn't assume anything, because I got this message from YouTube. They let me know that your channel is growing steadily, but it could grow even faster if you convince more people who liked your video videos to subscribe. Well, thanks a lot, YouTube. Sounds pretty obvious to me. But here's the stat that really helped out. Although it didn't negatively impact your channel's growth, 21% fewer viewers than usual chose to subscribe after watching your videos. 21%, that's a pretty big number. And I actually won a channel review recently, and they actually said that only 2% 2% of the people that view my videos in the past 30 days have become subscribers. So I need to be a better host and I need to slow things down at times and let you guys know that if you like the content, feel free to subscribe. If you're unsure if you're gonna like the content, you know what, go ahead, subscribe now anyway so you don't forget by the end if you do like it. And you can always unsubscribe if you don't like it. Better safe than sorry is what Caffeine Man says. Also, I include timestamps down below so you can more easily go where you wanna go. How helpful. Subscribe. And in today's video, I'm going over the Rockstar Juice. I call it semi-new because it came out not too, too long ago, but I still haven't been able to find it after probably been a couple months that it's been released now. But lucky for me, one of my subscribers, John from South Jordan, Utah, picked some up for me and mailed them out. I appreciate that, John. Thank you very much. But apparently the rock star rep in South Jordan, Utah likes that town better than my state. And why wouldn't they? I mean, it's a great town. They have the Jordan River going right through it, which allows for a lot of parks and recreation places to hang out. River Park Pond includes two fishing ponds stocked with rainbow trout and catfish. And City Park, well, they got a whole bunch of stuff. They got baseball and softball fields, soccer fields, football fields, lacrosse fields, volleyball courts, tennis courts, even a skate park. I think I'm going there on vacation. Forget this quarantine. John, I hope you got a spare room. I'm heading your way. So in this video, I'm gonna be going over a little bit about the history of this drink. That'll lead me into the nutrition facts and ingredients, and we'll finish off with a taste test. And what's interesting about this drink is that even though it's a new juice line, they already had a juice line in the past. The original Rockstar juice line was released way back in 2006. I mean, a majority of my viewers probably couldn't even have energy drinks back then. And back then, it actually had 50% juice in it. 50%! And as delicious as that 50% juice was, for some reason, well, we're not really sure why. It could have been regulations or it, it could have been maybe to save money. They actually reduced it to 10% in 2010. Made a lot of people mad, but a lot of people still bought it because it still went on strong for several years after that. It was only discontinued just a few years ago. And it might have been because they were planning on re-releasing it and rebranding it as a healthier alternative now because they did go a lot healthier with it. The previous version had 24 grams of sugar in it, but that was for only one serving and there were two servings per can. Rockstar likes their sugar, so they actually had 48 grams of sugar in that juice drink. You see why people liked it. Don't think it was the 50% juice. But now, it's only got four grams of sugar in it, one serving per can. So let's go ahead and talk about the ingredients and the nutrition facts panel. Oh, and if you didn't know it, in March of 2020, Pepsi acquired Rockstar for 3.85 billion. So if you don't know, now you know. So as I mentioned, they do have one serving per can. A lot of the companies are switching over to that. It was a huge complaint by a lot of people. So they got a lot more transparency on their cans so you don't have to do math. Caffeine man likes. So this drink only has 20 calories, so very low in calories. It's got zero fat, it's got 120 milligrams of sodium, so not much sodium at all. It's only got five carbs, four grams of sugar. 
zero protein, and for your B vitamins, it's got 150% of your B3, 100% of your B5, 140% of your B6, and 100% of your B12. And earlier I talked about the juice content in these drinks. It was 50%, went down to 10%. Well, in this new line, it, it went down to 8%, which it's an okay amount. But I mean, if we did have to compare it to other juice lines, because you know, it's always good to compare things. The Monster Juice line, they had 10% juice in their Pacific Punch. And for their Pipeline Punch and their Mango, they actually had 16% juice. And for their Chaos, that was the one I like best out of the four of them, has 30% juice in it. So 8%, it's a little bit less than the competition, but, 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 I don't mind that 8% because this is much more healthier than those monster juice. Those monster juice full of sugar, this only got four grams of sugar. It's definitely got some healthier ingredients in it. They do put a healthy dose of sucralose in there because, you know, like I said, Rockstar, they still like their sweetness. Even if they're not filling it up with sugar, they're giving you some sucralose in there. In the ingredients, it's right after caffeine, and we know how much caffeine's in that. Do you know? It has 160 milligrams of caffeine in it. Therefore, it's giving you about the standard of 10 milligrams per ounce. But, but yeah, um, about that. Uh, I'm not sure if all you guys noticed this yet, if you've picked up the can or not but um this can only has 15 ounces in it had to had to whisper that into the microphone and maybe they are trying to trim down costs here and there because that 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 10 percent went to eight percent juice and this 16 ounce can is it's a 15 ounce can so so they needed to do something to to, to save one more ounce in their can i mean who who makes a 15 ounce can rockstar I see you. Can't trick caffeine, man. As for your ingredients, it's got all your common Rockstar ingredients, minus the sugar, a little more sucralose. And for each flavor, they have the appropriate juice concentrate in it. So the pineapple orange guava is gonna have pineapple juice, guava puree, and orange juice. Eh, a bit of apple juice too. But they don't use the apple juice for apple flavoring. Several energy drinks have apple juice in them. I think it's for the sweetness. And like I said, all your standard Rockstar ingredients, you know, it's got the milk thistle, it's got the guarana seed extract, panax ginseng, et cetera, et cetera. So let's go ahead and taste them out. Just gonna grab them off my Campus Protein fridge. And if you guys like pre-workout and you wanna save 10% off, I'll include a link down below to Campus Protein. You can use coupon code CAFFEINEMAN10 to save 10% off. But as for pre-workouts, that, uh, did you guys see my video on Bucked Up? Whew, that's good stuff. If you haven't checked out that video, you can save 10% on that Bucked Up too. And it's not just good for pre-workout, it's good for gamers too. You gamer guys watching this Rockstar video, check out that Bucked Up. So we have Island Mango as well as Pineapple Orange Guava. Can you guess which we're starting out with? First up is the Pineapple Orange Guava. Yeah, you knew that. Let's get in on those graphics, take a look at that. Nice watercolor on there. Nice to see them expanding out from the normal graphic, showing some love to the artists out there. Got ourselves a nice guava juice color there. Oh yeah, that does pack a punch of flavor in there. So, wow, yeah, that, that's that's good. Definitely has a medium to high carbonation. And that sweetness, that sweetness, even though uh, even though we got some citrus in there, that sweetness, I'm gonna say is a high sweetness. So so they're still going with the Rockstar sweetness. They like to give you sweet stuff and uh, they give you a sweet drink here. Even though they are giving you a bunch of juices with some citrus in there, yeah, they're, they're going pretty sweet. And for that flavor profile, as I mentioned right when I drank it, it is a strong flavor profile. So if you guys like your pineapple orange guavas, not sure if you've had all those together, but uh, you're getting a nice good citrus drink here. Uh, it was, it's giving you that almost like a tropical flavor. And believe it or not, I think that guava is actually standing out out of all the rest of them. But usually you're punched with that orange flavor or in the tropicals, you're like, oh yeah, I pick out the pineapple right away. Uh, in this, it's pretty subtle. I'm gonna say I'm getting like a 60% guava, so I'm getting a majority of guava. I'm probably getting like a 25 to 30% pineapple. Pineapple's the next thing that I can taste. And it really just has kind of a light orange flavor. They put a minimal amount of orange in here. And actually, I'm actually gonna take a look at something real quick. I'll jump cut it out. Yeah, yeah, I was right. I actually decided to look at the ingredients. Ingredients are listed by what it has the most of to what it has the least of out of those three ingredients. Guava is listed near the top. Pineapple is in second place. And that orange is in third place. And they're not like the top three ingredients. I'm just saying on the list, wherever they fall, the guava is falling higher than the other two. 
and, and you can taste that in the drink. And I didn't actually look at that earlier. I had to look at that now. I should probably start doing that sooner though. But a lot of the drinks don't actually say what the flavors are. These actually say what the juices are. So if you're picking this up saying, I'm gonna get that pineapple orange guava, cause I like orange, you're not gonna get too much out of here. Gotta like guava, get this drink. So where's it gonna be going on the caffeine man rating chart? Well, up until today, I didn't know I liked guava as much as I like guava. I don't even know if I've had guava by itself, but I'm liking some guava now. Where's it going on the caffeine man rating chart? I'm giving this a solid nine. I really like it and I am so glad. John, thank you again because this is really good. And and in southeastern Massachusetts, Rockstar Rep, where, where are you with my drinks? Why don't I have this yet? I'd buy it. I'm already reviewing it. Don't make me call your boss. I got I got these shirts from somewhere. Get on it. And next up is the Island Mango process of elimination. You probably knew it. And I like that it's actually called Island Mango. You think Island Mango, you think of a tropical island with mango. But uh, after seeing the ingredients on the other one, I cheated and looked at the ingredients on here and I only saw mango puree. I don't see any pineapple puree. Yet. So I'm thinking they might've used Island Mango just for the catchy name, but let's find out. <clears throat> Similar juice color. All right, so uh, this one I'm not liking as much as that other one. That other one was a nice strong guava with some other flavors in there. Um, this has the same medium to high carbonation. Uh, the sweetness, I would say it's a medium to high, getting close to that high sweetness, but, but not high enough to call it high just yet. And that flavor profile, um, it's a medium to high flavor profile as well, but uh, I'm not overly fond of that flavor. And I've had a lot of mangoes before, but I think most of the mangoes that I've had have been peach mangoes, and they're usually pretty heavy in the peach. But then again, I've had the Mango Matic by Rain. I've had the uh, the Max Mango Matic as well, which are primarily mango. But uh, there's something about this. I don't know if they're trying to go for a natural mango flavor because I I admit it, I haven't actually eaten just like a straight up mango. Maybe I should. But I'm guessing that this is just straight on mango. There's no other flavors in there. I'm picking up on something that it, it just tastes like a little off to me. And I feel like if they sold these near me, I'd pick up another can just to make sure this one, so nothing happened like in shipping or something. I don't know. I'm gonna go in again to see if, if that flavor went away. And uh, yeah, I mean, even if I smell it, it smells a little off to me. So I'm not sure if it's the mango flavor or if um, or if this went a little bit bad. Usually if you say, oh, this tastes like it went a little bit bad, it's not gonna get that good of a score. Yeah, there's something off and I would definitely, if this was in a store, I would definitely try it again. And if it tasted better, I'd do a quick follow-up bonus video to say that, yeah, th th this can was a little off. This batch that they made was a little bit off because I'm gonna be putting it on the Caffeine Man rating chart and uh, yeah, I would give this like a, a 5.5. It's definitely not something that I would pick up again unless unless I was trying it to see if it's better. Because with the great job that they did with that pineapple orange guava, I mean, that was great. I was expecting this mango to be spectacular and I'm a huge mango fan. A majority of the mangoes I have have been really, really good. I don't think I've ever given a mango a, a low, lower than like eight score and uh, I'm giving it a 5.5. Let me know in the comments down below if you've had this mango and you love it, but it's different than the other mangoes because I want to know that I'm, I'm not going crazy. I want to know if it's a delicious mango and I just got a bad can. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this mango. And there you have it. That is my review on the new Rockstar Juice. And uh, I actually heard a rumor that maybe they might be coming out with two new flavors of the Rockstar Juice. I think they might've been waiting to see how these two flavors did. I know I'm excited to try them out, even though there was one that was a little off for me, that other one was really good. And I think that they're gonna do really great things if they release some new flavors of this juice line. And if you're like me, you can't find them at any stores near you. I'll include a link down to Amazon down below. One link will be a direct link right to these products. The second link will be a link to my Amazon affiliate page where I have most of the drinks that I've reviewed as well as the caffeinated products that I've reviewed. So if you want to check that out, you can check that second link. Whether you use the first one or the second one, I get a small commission on every purchase made. So thank you again to John for sending me these drinks and thank you to everyone else for watching the video. I appreciate it and until next time, have yourselves a great day.
or night. Similar juice color. Oof. Oof. Hmm. That doesn't smell good at all. Oh man. Oh, the can doesn't seem to be damaged at all. It's got a good expiration date, I mean. Oof. <sighs> Sometimes you get the whiff of the smell, and I'm like, oh, you can smell that from here, and it's usually a good sign, because it's a strong, like a strong orange, or a strong, the oranges and grapes usually have that strong smell, but um, yeah, this, it's a strong smell, but hmm, hope it tastes better than it smells. I'm having some more pineapple orange guava to get that other flavor out of my mouth. Mm. That, it's really good.